how to manage your time and strategies which can help you survive first year first year subjects in arts physio biochem seem very very heavy at first take all the help that you need do not shy away from asking for help just remember consistency is the key hello students i am dr anusha rathi your microbiology faculty at pw medit i will be meeting you in second year with the subject of microbiology this video is for you if you are a first year mbbs student so congratulations that you have entered your mbbs you are about to be on your dream journey and i'm sure you must have gotten some culture shocks also a lot of you have gone away from home shifted to entirely new cities some of you have even gone to completely different countries so welcome to adulthood also you're going to see a lot of life from a different perspective you're going to grow up now and you also are going to be bombarded with very very heavy theory heavy long long lectures and long long subjects of the first year so this video is how to manage your time and strategies which can help you survive live first year and even make your journey a little bit better if you are struggling so the one thing that i always tell my students is to stay updated to stay in touch with your subjects now while you are dealing with life and trying to adjust in the new environment in college probably in a new city or a new country you also have a lot of syllabus to cover first year subjects in art physio biochem seem very very heavy at first and the long lectures we are not used to sitting in those long lectures for long long hours and then memorizing everything and also you suddenly get introduced to medical english medical english which is a jargon in itself wherein anatomy has its own set of language its own set of words etc my only advice is take all the help that you need do not shy away from asking for help please understand that you are a first year mbbs student if you knew everything you would have been on the other side of the table you would have been a 40 year old man with 3 degrees in hand there is a reason that you don't know things because the journey has just started for you so of course you have questions of course you face uh, struggles of course you hit road blocks of course you don't know things you're lucky that you have an enormous support system a lot of us especially at pw medit we have a lot many mentors we have all the faculties personally i am always available you can reach out to me asking any of the questions or queries you might have i'll try my best to answer all of your questions please ask your questions and seek advice from the right seniors and adults around you advice is please seek advice from adults responsible adults who have lived the life that you're living already when it comes to studies you i know it gets a lot trying to balance the enormous subjects along with life but consistency is the key and staying in touch is the key if you feel any subject is dry or fact heavy for you then revision 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 is your only guarantee to success right avoid trying to have intense study sessions right before the exam contrary to whatever your seniors might tell you that exam se pehle pad lenge and ho jayega please try to understand what is your journey how do you study how have you always studied because sometimes it gets too much in the end and it's just not worth the stress right so go to your lectures listen to what your faculty is teaching you go to your practical halls dissection halls perform with your own hands engage all your senses and build your skills around the subjects and at the end of a very long college day and after you are free with all the societies and friends and everything just try to give half an hour to one hour of dedicated revision to what you have read the entire day you have to push a little extra in first year because first year is the time when you are trying to build the habit of studying the medical syllabus i don't always give this advice to the uh, second year or final year students because by that time they have figured out what works out for them but you are still figuring out out what works out for you and first year needs that extra bit little effort from your side because suddenly it's a new environment a new thing that you're doing but trust me believe me you are very very capable of doing this there are so many people who have passed mbbs this is definitely not bigger than you this is very very much within your reach just remember consistency is the key do not beat yourself up if you're not able to study one day that's fine just make sure that the one or two days don't end up becoming many many weeks when you have not picked up the book even once and read 
another piece of advice would be read your standard books no matter which teachers you are referring to which notes you are referring to please read your books as well because this is the only time that you will ever get to read the books translate your books into your own notes and then carry those notes for the rest of your life up till pg entrance and that is really really going to help you so advice is that respect everyone who's trying to teach you something learn it from those Re reach out to your adults take care of your mental health talk to your parents go home enjoy your life but also consistently keep in touch with your subjects i am so happy for you that you're finally on this journey if you have any questions you may reach out to me until then all the best stay sharp stay focused